Good morning. I am Eckhart, the German butcher. Today I want to make Italian venison. I think that's what you want to call it. I want to make a venison meat like Italian venison. I have a sirloin tip from a venison, from a deer. I use brown it from all sides. Before I put a little spices on, I use salt, pepper, accent, and a little beef bouillon. But we don't worry too much about it. The flavor comes from something else later on. I browned it all four sides, and now I put it in a, a little pot and put it in the oven until it's well done. Now I put my meat in the oven. I went on 300 degrees. I don't care if it takes a little longer, but I want it well done. I just go by feeling, not by thermometer. The temperature doesn't make that much difference. Long it is good, well done. Now we're two days later, I, I roasted the meat. And after it was done, after about three hours, I put it in the fridge. And I didn't get to it yesterday. So but today I want to finish this movie. What I did here, as you see here, I sliced the meat real thin. It is not red, it's all gray because there's not much salt in it yet. I used had a little spices on the outside. <coughs> and then I have now here uh, beef base. I put that in the water and tasted it. It should be very strong because the spices will be soaked up by the meat later on. And then there's some garlic and some red, green and yellow uh, paprika. And here I have the leftover what was in a in the part when I fried it, that goes in here too. So now I have here beef bouillon in water, so it tastes very strong. And now I add the garlic and the pepper in it to bring it to a boil. I got it all in the pot, it looks pretty good. But now I gotta bring it to a boil. As you saw, you put some garlic in and some pepper. I did not measure anything. We normally don't cook much with garlic, but there belongs garlic in it. Now I have my uh, bouillon to a boil. You can see how nice and dark it is. And now you add the meat to it. And then I bring it to a boil again, and then we're ready to eat. You want to stir it real nice, so the moisture, the, the brine or the, the bouillon goes in between all the meat, because that's where it picks up the flavor from. And when it's done, what I do normally, I cut some more uh, uh, paprika or pepper, red, green or yellow pepper. But I leave bigger pieces, so you, when you bite on it, it's just a little bigger. And add it in here too, but just before I serve it, because then it's still crunchy when you pick it up, or when you eat it. That's about all about my venison. That goes under the, the subject, now what the hell do I do with my venison? Try it sometimes, it's very delicious. I did it many times already especially at parties and it's always gone first Guten Appetit I hope you watch my other movies on YouTube you find me on the Eckerhart the German Butcher and then you click on video then you see all my videos I wanted to start with the story how I learned how to make Italian venison or Italian beef. Long time ago, my uncle had a small pizza place and he made his own Italian beef. I liked it. He always liked it. He said he made the bouillon by himself, but when he cooked the meat or roasted the meat, he always had it very, very rare and I didn't like it. After I 
started with venison, I tied it the same way, I didn't like it, so I didn't make it anymore. Until I had, later on, years later, I had a customer, was also a pizza place, and since I used to be a butcher, I, and I know him for a while, so I uh, walked in there like I belonged to it almost. I could ask questions and all that stuff. So and then I saw how they make Italian beef. And I liked, the, I liked their meat, that's the big thing, it was always well done. So that's when I started making uh, or cook it well done. It's definitely better than what my uncle had. And now it's done, it tastes very, very good. The bouillon is there, could have been a little more bouillon in, but the garlic is there, I can taste the garlic, good, it's not, too, not, uh, not enough, it's, it's just perfect. It's, it should be all be in the front, but it should not be out, almost not, not there. So I used to do it on the spot. 